Daniel D'Amato took up the role of Solicitor of the Supreme Court in 2011. He was then employed as a legal assistant with the government law offices before becoming Crown Counsel in 2014. A year later, he was seconded as the legal officer to the government's representation to the EU in Brussels, supporting Sir Graham Watson and working closely with both the Attorney General and the Deputy Chief Minister. The government says Daniel has gained first-hand experience in engaging with EU policymakers and has secured an intricate knowledge of the functioning of the EU, the workings of its institutions and the law and politics surrounding Gibraltar's anticipated departure from the EU. I'm truly honoured, of course, to have been afforded this opportunity and I'm very grateful to those who have placed their trust in me to lead this office. For me, it's always been a privilege to represent Gibraltar in Brussels, and it's, it's a privilege that comes with, with huge responsibility. I'm, of course, aware of that. But as a Gibraltarian, I hope not to let anyone down, and I'm very eager to get back to work and support the work of the government to the best of my ability. Deputy Chief Minister and Minister with Responsibility for European Affairs, Joseph Garcia, has thanked Sir Graham for his contribution and congratulates Mr D'Amato on his appointment, saying the experience he's gained at the heart of the European Union is both unrivaled and invaluable. Dr Garcia adds this will serve him well in his new role, particularly in the event of a new chapter in our relationship with the European Union starting next year. We're looking to build upon the work already done here in the last five years and um, there's still a lot of work to be done over the next couple of years and even beyond that. But specifically in relation to Brexit, look, I think that we've only really just scratched the surface and if the withdrawal agreement is eventually implemented, there's a lot of work that we can do in future or in the, in the near future to support the, the government's work as negotiations on the, on the future partnership um, unfold. And then, look, once the Brexit dust settles and once our new relationship with the EU is known, I'm sure that there will be plenty of arguments to maintain our presence here, not least because of the fact that we'll still share a border with a member state. We will want to continue to trade with Europe and Gibraltar's interests will have to be defended here in Brussels. The new director of Gibraltar House in Brussels paid tribute to Sir Graham Watson, whom he said had shared his vast experience with him during their time working together. Daniel D'Amato said he now looks forward to continuing to raise awareness about Gibraltar and to work hand in glove with the government in ensuring the best outcome for The Rock during the next stage of the Brexit process.